Well, hello there and good afternoon. Thank you for joining me. I am Frost PDP and today we're playing Crusader Kings 2 Byzantine Iconoclast Insanity Episode 2, where we just go through the opening moves for the Byzantine walkthrough and we see what we want to do. So I have the Liberation CB, which is kind of interesting. I've never really used it. I don't know why you wouldn't get it for land that you have, you know, did your imperial claims on. I mean, your empires is way bigger than what? <laughs> wow. Right? So does that mean I could declare on Lombardy for a bunch of their land? I could. Wow, that's pretty cool. But do I want to? There's a land connection here now that makes it a lot easier to march an army over. But he has... Pa oh no, not really. So in other words, taking a little bit of land from Lombardy couldn't hurt anyone. Except Lombardy. I could push a claim for one of my vassals and make them like me very much. See, when it comes to opening moves, you want to make it a move that's going to weaken your enemies and strengthen you. And my biggest enemy right now is internal dissonance, but... Oops, forgot to give you a focus. Special mind, our titles are granted. I'm so not used to, like, the glass anymore. Oh, crown focus. That I should do. And create kingdoms. I don't really want to do that unless I want permanent de jure claims for vassal management's purposes. A holy war lets me keep the land myself. I can keep every castle I take from this moron. What are his advantages? Um, it's Ramuva that gets the defensive. Let me just get a quick assessment of like how Slavic. So it says nearby Slavic rulers, which might mean because of Avaria, it might block them from coming down. Which would probably be necessary to pull this off. Just out of curiosity, what kind of army can I raise right now? Not a big one. So I have to bribe these people to join me, don't I? So you want to start from lowest rank to highest rank because lowest rank guys are going to be uh, cheapest. But I really want that castle. And one more, I think. Not you. Nope. Your ass price is too high. Plus that's 50, even if that was cheap. Just bribe my way through my court, make sure everyone likes me. That's a great way to do this. All right, you're all gonna kill this guy, perfect. I don't usually play as an evil, I'm going to kill you guy, but 200, well that's convenient. So one of the things I wanted to talk about with this this little mini-series is how random number generation is really going to be key to whether or not you, uh, you prosper. But also, uh, as an imperial administration, you have vice royalties that you can give out. So I can assign, I can keep this duchy for myself and then start scheming away its provinces. It's probably what I'll do. But I could also just make them a vice royal. See, I can't scheme away the province if, I, uh, if I'm planning to kill someone, can I? And the best part is, as long as I keep assigning them as Viceroyals, I can decide who the better leader is. 
you are 505, you suck, you are definitely getting the vice royalty of Adrianopolis, have fun. I don't want to deal with that for now. So you like me at 65, you're iconoclast, good. County of Gorton is converted to Iconoclast. I gotta keep sort of an eye on that. So our monthly balance is 28 ducats. It means we make $28 a month. Uh, epidemics. That's bad. See, that's random number generation at its worst. I don't want an epidemic. Dangerous faction. Increased council power. You guys all sort of like me. Why are you being jerks? What's your problem? They want more council power. My Mysticos. Just got a skill of 11. And isn't the powerful vassal. How about I make this guy the Mysticos? And we start unfactioning you people, huh? I just dealt with a bunch of factions. I don't want to do this. Stratego of Nikea. So that's you. Faction leader. Scheme, take you out of power. Try to improve relations, maybe pull him out that way since he likes me at 36. Uh, it's worth going through and granting my son some powers. My heir, make him a Caesar. make the highest like fat you know try to keep this faction under control giving out these honorary titles will hopefully reduce the number of people in them I might need a faction war I don't know we'll find out it might be better just give them increased council power I don't care about that really lose gold gain piety plus monthly piety and prosperity um two years so I could do the math right now and I can tell you that this fucking 0.25 piety a month is what three piety per year so that's six piety plus 25 so I'm spending about as much gold as I am getting piety the only thing that would really make it worth doing is the prosperity of Calipolis increases which would be a nice thing to have but right now money is kind of important if I have to pay for retinue to smack down a revolt, I'm going to want to have that money available. I need to save that up right now. I have 200% plot power, so it should fire pretty quickly. Alright, good. He's gonna die. Uh, yeah, I've done this start before. I've done a couple of Byzantine run-throughs, so I'm... You know, I'm hoping the Abbasids fracture soon. You're, you're absolutely right there, Bachabazi. Which I hope I'm saying correctly. Oh no! He died under suspicious circumstances, not knowing the name of his killer. Oh no! Well, that's too bad. Ah, it's evil as hell. Alright, factions, you're how strong now? I just upped my troop count. What about yours? They still want to go for it, huh? They're thinking about it. They're like, well, I mean, you know. You don't like me? Why don't you like me? Aw. You want to see that on council? You recently fought. Well, you know, I could kill you. I could kill you. I am your heir. In fact, you have no children. 
So I actually would inherit your county too. So sure, let's kill you. <laughs> I've decided to go evil. In case you haven't noticed. It should auto invite. I don't know why it's not. Because all these guys like me. So they're gonna kill you. <laughs> That's kinda how it works. 300%? Can I get to 300? Just to do it, because I haven't done it in forever. Send gift. 39 ducats, but you'll do it. Just to get to 300% plot power, which, like, by this point, oh, I'm too short. How much are you gonna cost? 25, oh man, I'm like pissing away money I need. But I'm also buying a lot of goodwill from vassals, so. Hopefully, I'm, I'm nerfing this a little bit. We are committed then. I really wanted to get 300 plot power. 294, that's, that's not fair game. Fine. The Lone Bowman. Success. So I've now inherited the Duchy of Thessalonica and other titles from this guy. Including a county. Well, isn't this nice? How's that faction come along, guys? You seem to be losing strength, not gaining. You know, if you don't like me, something very bad could happen to you. So what's 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 the deal with that now? I have the Duchy of Thessalonica and the Duchy of Thrace. Thessalonica is this. There are two counts here that are slightly frustrating because they're counts and they put me over my vassal limit. You like me, you are not in a faction, so I don't want to get rid of you. You like me and you're not in a faction. See I gotta try to like figure out who to get rid of. It's really annoying. I have 287 gold, I could create a kingdom. Kingdom of Anatolia. Show me the du jour. If I were to do this, to create it, it would cost me 392 gold. But if I do that, I can drop all of these guys under one person and make it a vice royalty. Uh, you want a county? Uh, no. Sorry, no. <laughs> Why would you think I would give you a county when I have a faction trying to fight against me? So... Our common interests bind us together. Me and my court chaplain. Okay, good. Um, 390, right? I might not get that money by the time these guys fire, but if I can bury them all. Ooh, righteous imprisonment. Doge Leon. You're in the independence faction, aren't you? Which is pathetic and barely exists. All right, so I can ransom you for money for 145, which you don't have. You're not. You're kind of close. I can demand a religious conversion. That's much better for me. That just solves a religion problem. Uh, I don't care. You're some mayor. You're not a threat to me. I don't care. So now you're iconoclast, so that's good. Oh no. Damn it, he's got the flu. The flu's not an epidemic. The way measles is. Peasant revolt? This is like the worst timing ever. Hmm. 
I shall just have to spend your men to kill him. Notice how I just want to raise guys that are a nuisance to me. It's my main course of action here. So this entire army put together is probably not going to be able to get it done. Let me pay the guy. Good. Fight each other. So I got 700, 8, 9, 000, 5. I'm going to have to put my own troops in. Uh huh. Also, I don't want to lead troops. Dying is not in my interests. Oh, shit. Oh, no! <laughs> the balconies that Arumba so loves have failed me. That's a shame. Yep, vice royalties are definitely where I'm going. Fortunately, my timer stopped working, so I don't actually know how long I've done this episode for. That is a problem. I have to guess based on, uh... Oh, I can't even guess based on that. Okay, well, we'll play for a little while longer. See what we get. So now my vassals know I'm a murdering bastard. Doesn't mean I'm gonna stop. Still have 201 plot power. So the Peasant Rebellion is easy to put down. It's great for getting a little prestige and just as a reminder, every 200 prestige you get is one point of prestige, except this guy stole first blood. I'm not really sure why, other than give me a penalty. Uh, County of Kenya is converted to Iconoclast. And we won the Peasant Revolt. Good. Faction still at 131. This guy hates me at 100 now. Now he has to die. Attempted murder of a parent. Well, you know, shouldn't have hated me. Shouldn't have hated on me. I can imprison you. You like me. But I have a 71% chance to catch you trying to kill Thracia's guy. Do I care enough? No. Uh, Bulgaria. Still at war for Moldova. We're taking our time here, we're building up our domain, we're murdering our vassals, but you know what we're gonna do? Now that I feel a little stronger, we're gonna go for broke. We're taking Rashka, all of it. We're cutting him in half. Military, raise everything. Maybe not you. Not you, not you. <sighs> little count here. See, these little guys over here aren't really going to help me that much right now. Not that every little bit doesn't help. 
but it's just one of the drawbacks of being a Byzantine is that you end up having a very disparate empire that you can't really rally together with ease. I haven't even built Renu yet. This is 5,000 men. I'm gonna just send you around to smash. And I'll rally more men. Yeah, okay. Congratulations, you seized the city. You can hear me applauding. So why is this a good opening move? Well, it's a good opening move because it does expand your land. It all goes directly to you. You personally hold it. It's got no technology whatsoever. Which is sort of weird considering it borders the Byzantine Empire. But... Uh... His daughter was beaten by the marshal. Father's requesting compensation. Well. So, uh, where's my prisoner again? You. I can ransom you for 145 bucks, or I can let you go for Vassal Opinion plus 9. Vassal Opinion is a good thing to have, especially when you have a faction threatening you. Will this 9 points really prove a major difference? Maybe with one guy. So let's do it. The Holy War, by the way, will boost Iconoclasm's moral authority, which means it's easier to convert less heresies and just all around better now I'm suffering attrition why am I suffering attrition because it's September and pagan homeland Fuck. hey I remember that I hate that so uh how long is it going to take me to get the siege gun three two one click the button I really believe in clicking the button when you have ten to one it's just easier to do I know this isn't technically part of the war goal, but it's going to make my supply issues for starters way easier. At least it's not going to be 40%, let's say. I gained piety, sure. See, I ate a nutrition tick and I lost a bunch of men. Um, I'm not going to talk about combat because, frankly, this isn't the place for it. Suffice to say, more men is better. Take my city back. Take your little castle while you're at it. I have a city here, I don't know why I don't have. God damn it! Not attrition penaltied. Alright, these are actually going to be harder to take down, but this one's not. So you're going to go and poke out, kill that army, and come back home. We're actually going to go up to speed of four. My son's going to kill somebody. Two, one. And it's close. Another peasant revolt, huh? Corinthos. Good, okay, that's fine. My bishop died. What a shame. Uh, and you're going to go back to trying to convert Constantinople because I want you to. So you're going to beat that little army up and then that. Alright, fine, he's dead. Tragic accident as far as anyone's concerned. Gravity can be a cruel mistress. And we've inherited the Duchy of Athens. It's all well and good. Um, hey game, what's up? Okay. You despise me. And that's not going to go away for... Nine years? Nine years. You desire a bunch of stuff. I should just kill you, shouldn't I? 
I'm wiping out your dynasty. Why? Because you dared to oppose me. That's how this works. <laughs> I shouldn't be this way, but I am. Your heir will be your... I guess your sister? I don't know. I'm not sure how that works. I don't really want the Duchy of Athens, though, so... Is there someone I can give it to that's not you? Hellas is de jure part of Athens. So you're the guy in charge of Hellas, huh? Guess what Santa brought? <laughs> At this point, I don't even have to worry about the guy again, but I will. All right. I'm going to have to build a fort here. It sucks. All right. I have uh, stuff. Who can I write just in prison? Shadago of the Islands. Thank me, 34. You don't even care that I killed somebody. Or tried to. You're dying. What are you trying to do? Kill someone else. Okay. I, mean, I could imprison you, but I don't want to. I'll let it go for now. Fort. Before I suffer too much more attrition. My errant subject has converted to iconoclasm. Well, that's good. Um, Brianna Berg. Sorbia. You're where? Way up there. Fine. Don't care. I'll be peaceful to the person that nobody knows. But we're going to take a break here. I want to thank you all for joining me. If you're on Twitch, stick around. we got another episode to record. But as always, La Paz.